Hello you guys, it's me Xayelf and I'm on my freshman year at the Imperial Academy of Arts. Today I'm gonna show you our exam week, how we prepare our examination exhibition and get our points. Also you'll see the entire exhibition of all the workshops of painting department, like from freshmen to seniors. So stay with me and let's get into this video. Our first semester lasts 3 months, from October till December. Now it's the very beginning of January and we have our exam week. By the end of each semester we have to make an examination exhibition for our majors, it's painting, drawing and composition. This is how most art students' exams looks like, those of you who study art too probably familiar with this. So basically you take all the artworks from this semester, frame them and hang them on the walls in your workshop, so then commission of professors can come and judge it and you'll get your points. Our professors select the best artworks from everyone and put them together into an exhibition. She arranged them in such a way that the entire wall of artworks makes a good impression. So first we lay out all the paintings on the floor and when the professor is satisfied with the way it plays, we begin to hand them in the same way. Most art universities have different way of hanging. They hang each student separately so you can see all his or her artworks at once. We had it in my previous uni and yeah, it kind of allows you to see the skill level of each student, but the entire exhibition looks a little bit chaotic. And here at the academy it looks much more impressive when you mix all good artworks of different artists and put them together, so it really makes a good look. We have to frame all the paintings in wooden sticks, because the canvases without any frames looks kinda careless and this is disrespectful to the commission of professor and any other viewer. And after framing we hang all the paintings on one wall and our drawings on the other. While someone hanging artworks, our students finish compositions or correct some shortcomings in drawings or paintings. It's almost impossible to do everything in time, students can relate, we always wait until the deadline and do everything at the last night. Actually, we have a very busy study time, I didn't even have time for editing, that's why now you're watching a video from like a year ago. And that's how it all ended up looking in our workshop. Here's the wall with paintings, all nice and framed. And here's our wall with drawings, and you can see copies in the lowest line. Everyone had to additionally make a copy of the old master drawing. It's a very important part of learning, and copying the works of the old masters really allows you to learn a lot from them, understand and feel their technique. During the exam, all the professors and directors, head of the academy, gather in a commission. Usually there are about 30 people, but I could be wrong. And they go through all the workshops and with a collective opinion give grades to each student. We are given three separate grades for drawing, painting and composition. You can see the rating on some artworks. The commission draws them with chalk right on the canvas. There is a 5 point rating system here at the academy, if you get 3 points for one of the subjects, it can be any subject like drawing, art history or even PE, so then you'll lose your scholarship until the next semester. They also draw Russian letter F, which means font, the academy takes artworks that they like to academy's font. They are stored there for years, sometimes they participate in exhibition, but as far as I know, they become the property of the academy. They can also be placed on the walls and workshops during the study hours as examples to inspire students to work better. Right after the exams, we always have free days free for people to visit. It's called an open doors days. So anyone can come and see all the workshops and walk around the academy. And usually really a lot of people come because it's a very good opportunity to see the academy. So, if you decide to visit St. Petersburg, you better come here in January or in June, so you'll be able to visit Academy and see all with your own eyes. 
Actually, Academy is much more than painting department. There are also sculptors, architects, and graphic artists, and art historians. So, for those of you who want to study in this atmosphere but maybe not good enough at painting, there are a lot of other options that you can choose from. By the way, I had a lot of questions from you guys on how to apply to the Academy if you're for ignorant. And in case you're interested, I write about it sometimes on my Boosty page. It's the same as Patreon. So. If you want to find answers and other useful information about admission, like what you need to admit, how your portfolio should look like, a lot of examples of artworks for exams, I left the link below, just come and check. And maybe one day I'll meet you guys here as fellow students. <laughs>